Derby. Oregon State's just a couple days away from the Sun Bowl against Notre Dame in El Paso, Texas. And man, do the Beavers look a little different now compared to the last game they played back against Oregon in November. But there's one more game to play and a lot to prove. KZI9, KZI9 sports reporter Brett Taylor has arrived from El Paso. This coverage sponsored by Rife's Home Furniture. Brett, I was going to say it looks warmer because you're in a t-shirt, but I did look up the weather. It's cold. You're crazy. Uh, anyways, man, things change in college football, right? The Beavers have a lot to play for here, but in a world of the transfer portal and specifically players passing on bowl games now, what does this all mean for Oregon State? Yeah, college football is very much like the time of the seasons. You think it's going to be warm at one point, and then it's going to be cold at the next point. Yeah, there's, Cam, a lot at stake right now for this Oregon State football team, considering everything that's going on. They've got a little bit more security with that Mountain West schedule conference heading into next season, but this is really going to be a prime opportunity for this Oregon State football program to really show the nation what they can be capable of, especially going into the future right now. There's still a lot of uncertainty about what the future will look like for Oregon State football moving forward. If they can find a way to be competitive or to better yet for Beaver fans, win the game over Notre Dame, who's right now heavily favored over the Beavers, this would be a perfect opportunity for them to potentially get some of those higher end recruits and kind of prove to them that, hey, we may not be in an official conference right now that's recognized by the CFP to potentially get that automatic qualifying spot for the college football playoffs, but we can still be competitive and we can still be considered one of the best teams in the nation. Besides that, there's still some other historical facts as well. Oregon State is actually trying to avoid its first three game losing streak since 2020 and they're also trying to get their first two bowl game winning streak since they achieved five bowl wins in a row back from 2003 to 2008 so a lot on the line for this Oregon State team cam so many changes with this team you've been with this team through all of them the final practice for you in this Oregon State team today we've talked a lot about what this means to the younger players that are going to get a lot of opportunities in this game that maybe they wouldn't in a normal regular season game because of all the players that have left but what about the veterans brett experiencing maybe some of their last minutes with oregon state here well, I think veteran linebacker John McCartan said it best. It's Beaver Nation against the world. This has been a team that's been underestimated a few times, especially over the last couple of seasons. With everything that's gone on throughout this year, this is just another opportunity for this team to show what they're made of. And that was really shown true by McCartan and Jaden Romson, both who said that all of the adversity that this squad has really dealt with has brought this team even closer together. You can really see just how much this team really cares about each other. They're almost like a family. And when it comes to going into Friday's matchup, they're going to use that power of family and that power of togetherness to hopefully propel themselves to a win against Notre Dame. We'll have to see what happens. But again, there's a lot of unknowns with both squads, but I think it's going to be a really fun matchup here in El Paso when the Sun Bowl kicks off this Friday, Cam. Britt, thank you. Great job as always. Bowl season is here this weekend. Oregon State and Notre Dame on Friday at 11 o'clock a.m. We're going to have coverage all day on Friday. And then the Ducks will play Liberty in the Fiesta Bowl on Monday. That's going to be at 10 o'clock a.m. And the same situation. Coverage right here with Nick Rossini, who is going to be on the road soon. I know a lot of people at home want to hear from the Ducks. We can't hear from the Ducks, which means... You can't quite hear from the Ducks yet either right now, <laughs> but relax. Nick is going to be traveling to the Fiesta Bowl, and we're going to have loads of coverage on the Fiesta Bowl as we get moving on, but exciting stuff for Oregon State ahead. So these guys are going to be busy. Always. All right, Cam, thank you.